Moving on to the next question that is question number 19. Equation of a common tangent to the circle one equation is given and the parabola y square equals 4x is a simple question from coordinate geometry. Now, how we start this kind of questions? We take the equation of common tangent. Let us say equation of tangent for the parabola is, let us begin with it, tangent to y square equals 4x is y equals mx plus 1 by m. This is clear. Now, this is also touching the given circle. What is the condition for a line to be tangent to a circle? Simply length of perpendicular from center to the line is equal to radius. Now, what is the center of the circle? Let us rewrite the circle. x minus 3 whole square plus y square is equal to 9, meaning center is 3 comma 0 and radius is 3 units. This is clear. Now, drop the perpendicular from it to the line. Therefore, mod 3m plus 1 by m divided by square root of 1 plus m square is equal to 3. Square up simplify to get the final result. So, squaring both sides and simplifying we have 9m square plus 1 by m square plus 6 is equal to 9 plus 9 m square. You can see 9 m square is cancelled. Whenever you observe that the highest degree term in equation involving m is cancelled, we can simply conclude one tangent is vertical. One tangent is vertical that is parallel to y axis. Rest of the two are obtained from m equals plus minus 1 by root 3 because we have 1 by m square is equal to 3 or m equals plus minus 1 by root 3. So, three common tangents are there. If we look at the given options clearly vertical tangent is not mentioned. So, we have to go with the option like m equals plus 1 by root 3 or m equals minus 1 by root 3. So, let us write down in the equation of tangent assumed for parabola. Therefore, y equals plus minus 1 by root 3 x plus minus root 3. This is clear. Taking plus minus sign common, also taking LCM, we have x plus 3. So, finally, we have y multiplied with root 3 is equal to plus minus x plus 3 as the two other tangents. Let us check out from the given options root 3 y is equal to x plus 3 is mentioned as the one of the tangents. So, correct answer for the given question is option number 1. I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 20. If y equals y x is the solution of the differential equation, one equation is given and initial value condition also mentioned. We have to find the value of y at x equals half. Equation involving differential coefficients. We can see this differential equation can be simplified using integrating factor and what is that? Let us write down. Integrating factor is e raised to the power integral 2 by x dx. Why? We have divided this equation by x and we have written it as linear differential equation. Meaning, we have rewritten it as y dash plus 2 by x into y is equal to x. This is clear. Okay. Now, we have this term giving me x square as integrating factor. So, what is the solution? y multiplied with integrating factor equals integral q into integrating factor dx plus constant. So, let us write down the solution part. Therefore, y x square is equal to integral x square into x dx plus constant or x 4 by 4 plus c. Now, one initial value condition is given which is y 1 equals 1. So, put x equals 1 and y equals 1 here. Since y 1 is equal to 1, we get the value of c from here 1 is equal to 1 by 4 plus c that is c is 3 by 4. This is clear. Put it back to get the equation y x square is equal to x 4 by 4 plus 3 by 4. Now, question is saying find y half. Put 
x equals half. When you substitute here x equals half you get y by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 16 plus 3 by 4. This 4 can be cancelled and we can say y is equal to 3 plus 1 by 16 or 49 by 16. Let us see which one of the given options is correct. 49 by 16 we can see it is mentioned here as option number 4 right. So, just mark and write down the correct answer as 4. I am sure this question from differential equation is clear. Let us move on to the next one. Limit y approaching to 0 square root of 1 plus root of 1 plus y 4 minus root 2 divided by y 4 is. We have 4 options we have to check whether exists or not if exists what is the value of it. Since the powers are even and you can also see the terms involved inside the root sign are like 1 plus. So, when y is approaching to 0 from positive or negative side it is not going to affect the result. So, limit exists. Now, there is a possibility of approaching to infinite or minus infinite. Let us check out what is the limiting value for this question. Limit y approaching to 0 if I rationalize this numerator part here I will be getting root 1 plus y 4 minus 1 in numerator divided by y 4 into root of 1 plus root of 1 plus y 4 minus root 2 it becomes plus on taking rationalization factor. This is clear ok. Rationalizing further we have limit y approaching to 0 y 4 because on rationalizing we get 1 plus y 4 minus 1 divided by y 4 multiplied with the previously mentioned term and newly multiplied term that is square root of 1 plus y 4 plus 1. I am sure this point is clear just apply the limit as y is approaching to 0 after cancelling y 4 in numerator and denominator. What we get root 2 plus root 2 that is 2 root 2 multiplied with 2 in denominator. So, it is 1 by 4 root 2 as the final result. Let us see whether it is available there in options 1 by 4 root 2 yes it is available as option number 3. So, the limit of the given function exists and it is equal to 1 by 4 root 2. So, correct answer is option number 3. Let us move on to the next one. 